Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. From real estate to real life and everything in between, the Brad Wiseman Show. And now, your host, Brad Wiseman. There we go. There we go. Another show. This is awesome. This is a, this is going to be a really cool show. This guy here that we have coming on, uh, he's coming in streaming into the studio. And I know his, I know him through his business. I actually use his business. And it turns out he has a company called Amcards. And, you know, what I found is really interesting about this company and interesting about this concept is, you know, as technology gets, we're more and more into technology and we're more and more into, you know, thinking that we can automate everything and we can, you know, that we don't need to be custom for each person or that we don't have to have uh, uh, something that we specially write for somebody and send it in the mail. And also we just talk about snail mail. We talk about mail not being that relevant anymore. Well, this guy disagrees and I disagree too. You know, there's sometimes where a handwritten note or a mail or something is better than anything else. So I'm going to bring on Curtis Lizzie. He is the owner and I'm going to say founder of Amcards. Is that correct? That is correct. Yep. And I didn't ask you how to say your last name before we started. So how do you say your last name? I want to make sure I didn't butcher it. Yeah, it's it's Lucy. Lucy. Okay. That would have been easy. Could have been like Lucy, <laughs> Lucy of all like Lucy. I got you. Okay. So, you know, interestingly enough, I didn't know you, but I was using your services. So isn't that kind of, it's kind of wild, right? I mean, you know, and obviously being in the KW, I mean, you guys are all about, this is your culture. You know, what we, yeah. what, what's about my book, Appreciation Marketing, how to talk about exactly that. You know? Wow. Very cool. So yeah. So and you wrote, you wrote a book uh, and I'm thinking the book was actually before the end cards. Is that correct? It was. Yeah. It was a national bestseller in 2009. And so it did a lot of speaking and training and then I realized that a lot of sales professionals are leaving our presentations and our workshops and with great intentions to implement appreciation and gratitude into their business. But without a mechanism or a system, we know that a lot of it fails. So yeah. we ended yeah. up coming up with AM cards to be able to back up the principles, and the philosophies that we teach. Yeah, it's amazing. And the book was called how it was called Appreciation Marketing, and it's how to achieve greatness through gratitude. You know, so how do you go from a book to the these cards, like what was this? This I did. All of a sudden, you're like, okay, I, I want to have some kind of a company that does direct mail that's more personalized. You know, it's so. The story is that when I was right out of college, I worked for a company called Cintas Corporation, and I was knocking on every door, every store, and every floor up in New Haven, Connecticut, selling really sexy products like toilet paper, air fresheners, and soaps. <laughs> and wow, that sounds fun. Yeah, it was, you know, but it was a multi-billion dollar company. And the reason why I went to work there was because in college, I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And if you remember in that book, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad told him to work for Xerox when he got out of the military, not for the money, for the training. And so similar to what you teach and, and you have systems and a blueprint, if you do this, this, and this, you can expect to get this, this, and this. And so I went in there, didn't realize that most of the sales guys were not doing what the playbook said to do. And I just... Did what it did. And I, and I had amazing results yet. I still wanted to quit. I was about burnt out after three months. And then I realized the number one salesperson was making twice as much money as us and working half the amount of hours. Wow. And I thought it was because the company was just feeding him leads. He was there longer. He was getting preferential treatment, you know, that kind of stuff. And you like that. You, you feel like, you know, he had more of an entitlement added. It wasn't that at all. What I realized was he was building a referral network. And so people were mm-hmm. feeding him business. So he was working hard, but he was more or less working smart. And so, yeah. and when I talked to him, he's like, you know, Curtis, he's like, you got to get to know people for who they are, not just what they do. He goes, that guy mm-hmm. driving the- around, they could be your eyes and ears in the marketplace. And if you treat them right, they could be feeding you business. And that's probably, well, that's part of the reason why my message resonates so much with real estate, because everything I say is, is that any business really, that relationships are important. So that's what I started doing. I started focusing on getting to know people, like understanding a little bit more, and then also educating them what would be a great referral. See, right. we talk a lot about you get a lead by what you do. Yep. You earn repeat referral business by who you are and how you show up in people's lives. And so you need to audit 
and say, what am I doing? How am I showing up in people's lives? And when I started doing that and I started hopping on the trucks, getting to know them a little bit, understand it, educating them. Next thing you know, I started getting a lot of referrals came in. And six months later, I was the number one rep out of 1,250 sales reps in the country. And I realized that I was, that the, the, probably the number one biggest competitive advantage in business and in life is saying thank you, being appreciative. Yeah. It, it separates you. It just straight up does. Isn't it amazing? And that seems so simple, right? How it simple? That's what our parents told us to do. You know, it's like what we didn't, nobody listens to their parents. Is that what's happening? It's this craziness. And it's just, like you said, saying thank you. And, and these cards that you, that you put out, you can put like pictures on them. You can do all kinds of customization on here. And I think that makes people realize that you're, that you're thinking about just them too. I mean, yeah, that- absolutely. And so there's a lot of different ways to use something like this. Yeah. And you know, there's, yes, there's that one-off card. You see somebody on Instagram or Facebook just had a grandbaby and you want to pull that picture off and pop it on a card and say, congratulations. Right. They'll never throw away that card. They're always going to remember you. That's, it's powerful. As long as you're doing it in a more genuine and authentic way, what you never want to do is send a card like that and at the bottom put, P.S. Brad, greatest compliment in the world is a warm referral. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> and then you're mixing messages and you're sending out to get something, but you're disguising it as appreciation and gratitude and being genuine. You're just not. It's what we call sending out poopaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have to use that term poopaganda. Yeah. And you're right. How many people do that? They end up putting those kind of tags on the bottom. And what it does is you read through that whole card, you read through that whole mailer and, and then at the end it says that and you're like, okay, this is just to get business. This wasn't really them thinking of me or caring about me or having any kind of interest in my life. It was about them getting more business. And it's amazing how many people do that. Right. They do. And in the chapter five of our book is called chocolate frosted dog crap. And that's what it came up from is because, you know, Brad, it's your birthday. And from afar, you think I have a piece of chocolate cake. Right. Until right. I come up and I realize I set it down in front of you. How long do you realize that that's not chocolate cake? Right. It's right. Silly, right. It smells like yeah. literally crap. It goes in the garbage. And so it's the same as if I was dressing something up as cake and frosting on it and sending you a birthday card saying, happy birthday, hope everything's going great with your life, your family, your two kids, your business. And then all of a sudden say, P.S., the greatest compliment world's warm. When I do that, it then obviously negates the message. It doesn't land with a warm and fuzzy. And if you're in the business of trying to attract, repeat, referral business, people thinking of you and thinking of you fondly, that type of stuff just kind of turns people off and it ends up going in the trash and they don't go out of their way to find you business or send you somebody that yeah. you know, their coworker needs an extra bedroom because they're having a baby, you know, those types of things. You want to be that phone call to be able to have that opportunity to have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And you have one here, like, and I think you talk about the impact of a personal connection has never been more important. And, you know, and, and, and that's because of Facebook and Instagram and all these things. I mean, we think that in our world today, that that is touching somebody or that is, that is, um, you know, being in their lives when in reality it, it's, it's really not. And do you think the mailed cards and things, do you think that's going to make a comeback because we are so, we're so yearning for that for we're yearning for something that's for us and something that's different. It it is, it is different. And, you know, we we like to say is we're kind of just marrying old school proven techniques. I mean, greeting cards go back to the beginning of time. It's just that we're marrying it with new technology and then be able to deliver it with even a higher level impact. And so People say, well, I really like the handwritten card. Great. Don't ever stop yeah, right. doing that. You're top 1%. People are not doing that. Yet when you see somebody just runs a marathon and they trained for six months and they, they raised all this money for a family member who's battling a disease and like you realize how much work and effort goes into I mean, I did a couple half marathons in my life and I, I passed out at both of them. I need medical treatment at the end of it. I was like, <laughs> and it, it was, um, and I'm like, these people that, that do put their bodies through this. And then you make a little comment on social media. Hey, congratulations on that. Well, why don't you take off that picture of them crossing the finish line with their hands up yeah. and put it on a card and send it to them. And you make those deposits week in and week out, month after month, year after year. And you're making deposits into people like that. Yeah. The way that people perceive you as, as a whole nother level and you will generate a lot of business. We talk, we call it appreciation marketing. We, I, I, 
I make reference to the book, The One Thing. And I talk about Mm -hmm. in The One Thing, Gary Keller talks about time blocking Mm -hmm. and that, you know, multitasking is kind of a myth. It's like if you time block appreciation marketing, say this is my 30 minutes this week. This is my window. Tuesday morning, 9.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock is my window. But if you don't put something in your calendar to do in those 30 minutes, obviously something else is going to fill that spot, right? Absolutely. So what you're going to do is for the next seven days leading up to that, you look for opportunities to congratulate, appreciate, or recognize. And so you want to recognize somebody. You want to appreciate somebody. You maybe maybe just recognize that, hey, I'm so sorry that you lost your grandfather. Or, you know, you make a mention of somebody's sympathy. You can make those notes. I put the notes in my phone. I haven't, you know, everybody's got a note section. And yep. so I have a note that says cards to send. And I just add it in there. Oh, and nice. then so I took a screenshot of us. I'm going to make that into a card and send it to Matt. You that know, is like, so I'm cool. Like- that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That is seeing that's, that's, but that's just, it's also, you got to think of it, but like you said, time block it. If you, yeah. if you make it part of your schedule that you have to think about those things, you'll do it, you know, it, but if you don't make it part of your schedule, you're so, you're so right about that. Because I, I say all the time, the problem with me doing handwritten notes, the reason I like your services is because if I write a note, I can pretty much tell you, you're going to take about an hour to read it because I, because I type everything, my handwriting has gotten terrible. My kids like, look at what I write to them on their homework or something like that. And they're like, dad, we can't even read it. They're like, that's not even cursive. It's like an in-between cursive and whatever. So that's why I like your service. What if what if an agent wants to do a hundred cards in, like in a community? What do you suggest? I mean, to to make well, it personable. Well, a couple things. Number one is we actually. So I had a car dealership that really the GM really liked his handwriting. One of very few, actually. Right. And so. I tasked my programmers who are absolutely amazing. I said, let's figure this out. I want to be able to have people take their handwriting and turn it into a font. Oh, wow. And then they took it one step further and they said, well, when you write the word, let's say I appreciate you, Brad. If I write, I appreciate you, the P next to the P, when you write it, the two P's are slightly different. Oh, wow. You that's, me? that's wild. Yeah. But, yeah. So we can use, we can use AI and every other character, which means you fill out the form five different times. No So it way. takes different characters. So now when you write the card, you can't even tell if it's not even your handwriting. Wow. You, can, you can turn your handwriting actually into your own font. We can attach it to your account and then you have multiple signatures. So you can wow. have a signature that says dad. You have a signature that says daddy, uncle, uncle Brad. You know, you can have all different types of signatures and store it in there. You can also put all your business partners your um your market center administrators leadership team leaders uh, you can put everybody in there and so now if you want to send a card out on behalf of everybody you can save the templates oh my so gosh you have templates saved so it saves you time then if you want to send like hey client appreciation parties coming up awesome let's let's go in canva or go into um command or whatever you guys go in there command, and yeah. design up your yeah go in there and design it all up well now you can just upload your panels into AM cards, attach it to a CSV, click one button, it's all in the mail. And if you want to schedule it and say, I want to go out 30 days from now, no problem. Hit the 30 day mark and it's all scheduled to go out. And you can also, what I love, like those things are cool. They can upload a list and send it yeah. to everybody. You can make it personal. Up, you only a picture. We also, I mean, it's, it, the possibilities, because we've been doing this for nine years and I'm really kind of um, focused on just making the product just just the best. You yeah, know? And it's, right. Number one, it's always very simple to do. Yeah. Um, it's also simple not to do, which, which is yeah. definitely a difference. <laughs> but what you can do also, just to give you an idea, yes, you can pick one congratulations card and drop it in the mail. Yes, you can upload a list and send it out to everybody. What you also can do is design a drip campaign. So you sell a home. You can even like attach it to Zapier or something like that in mm-hmm. some cases. We're also integrated mm-hmm. with Salesforce, HubSpot, Zoho, Monday, Pipedrive, Follow-Up Boss. And so when you sell a home, you can click one button Yeah. and – or create an automation and it will trigger like a three to five year campaign. Happy home anniversary. Can you believe it's already been a year since oh, you've wow. been in your home? Um, happy birthday, you know, checking in on you, you know, St. Patrick's day is coming up. Uh, lucky to have you in my life. Thanksgiving yeah. is coming up. Grateful to have you in my life. You know, those types of things where it's a set it and forget it. Set, so you yep. pay mm-hmm. the money up front. Gotcha. That's awesome. Done. Now, what other industries? I mean, you know, th- these kind of things work for, for most industries. You said you're doing car dealers now. I mean, you just started doing that a couple of years ago or recently. We got started primarily in the real estate space. We have over 25,000 real estate agents on our program. Wow. But we also have financial advisors and insurance, probably because in your spaces, it's they talk a lot about repeat referral business, taking care of your day-to-day, yes. top-of-mind awareness, 
airport and all that stuff, right? Yet we have contractors, we have landscapers, yeah. we have um, all kinds of, somebody just wants to send a card every now and then, just log in and pay retail. We have that too. Our biggest uh, clients that we're working with right now are car dealerships. Yeah. And we designed a really slick program where it's completely hands-free and we brand it from the general manager, the owner principal, not the salesperson because the salesperson has a high level turnover yeah. and the people that are investing and going into their pockets to pay for this, it goes. So in the car dealership world, like customer satisfaction index, CSI is a big deal. Um, they all, cause there's, there's a uh, manufacturer kickbacks, um, if they yeah. hit certain scores. Right. And so then also just making your, in the car business, they're kind of notorious for, okay, great. Just sold the car. Where's what's next. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. And you know, they kind of forget about them other than emails that go out or some newsletters or what trying to get their service or trying to buy back their car in three to five years. So not much love, around the appreciation and gratitude side. So I saw a huge opportunity there. So we're jumping to there. So unbelievable. That's very cool. I like one of the other things you had said here is your customers are more than dollar signs show them, you know, and, and it's interesting because, yeah. you know, as realtors and, it, and not just realtors, any business, a lot of times, once you made the sale, once the sales over and once you got paid, we kind of just wash our hands. You know, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm out. And we don't, we don't stay in touch anymore. And this is another good place for that where, you know, you could keep touching them throughout the year with, with whatever business you're doing. Um, because a lot of times things, once, especially realtors, once we get paid, we disappear, you know? So I think that this yeah. is a, a great, a great product for that to stay in touch. Brad, what would you like in the real estate world? Like, you know, somebody gets somebody makes sell on a home. Let's say they make a ten thousand dollar commission, right? Yeah. Clearly, someone goes to the broker. Let's say let's say their take is ten thousand. Okay, their yep. the, the agents take home is ten thousand. Out of that, you got taxes, you got all kinds of stuff, you got business expenses. But what would you say out of the gross that they should reinvest back into their business? With I, I would say like back into their database, like or back into marketing. I, I think marketing is one thing. Data, your database, you can you can invest in your database by just keeping a database. I mean, what you'll yeah, what's okay. amazing to me is how many top producing agents or top pe- top salespeople, period, don't have a functional database, and that to mm-hmm. me is what blows my mind. And up until recently, I mean, Gary Keller preaches about this all the time: is that da- your database is everything. Because if, if we're saying that, that referrals are important, if they're saying that 86% of the people when asked, would you go back to the salesperson you used before? And they say yes. And then they say, and then they do a poll and say, well, how many did? And it's only 27% did. Guess what? That's our fault. That's our fault. That's the salesperson's fault. That's the person that was supposed to be there for you. So they would have used you if you would have showed up. <laughs> you just didn't show up. So this, what, what I'm seeing with this product, what you're doing is that you are showing up. You're showing up in different ways and sending out things. So I don't know if that answered your question. I kind of went in a round in a circle there. But, um, but no, yeah, they, yeah. they typically say 10%. That would be $1,000. Mm-hmm. That's uh-huh. a little much. I would, say, I would say more 5%, 3%, you know, something like that. Yeah. And then kind of maybe split it up because I mean, I, I would venture to say if you took one to one and a half percent, one percent, if you just one yeah, percent yep. gross of that one client and reinvest back into that one client and that oh, could yeah. pay you big. So let's say you get a hundred dollars yeah. and say, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to get some type of a closing gift. Yep. So, and you know, and it doesn't have to be a crazy expensive gift either. You can do something that's more thoughtful, right? Yep, yep. Go out of your way to do something thoughtful. Um, and then- what if you carved out 20, 30, $40 to be able to say, make sure I'm, I'm making sure that they don't forget me for the next three to five years. See the percent, the thing most people think, of course, they're not going to forget me. I just helped them with <laughs> the biggest transaction of their life. Of course, they're not going to forget right. me. I took care of them. I helped them. I, but the, you know, once they're in there, they forget about a lot of stuff. And they say that there's two main reasons why somebody's not going to come back to do business again or refer you business. One, they don't remember you. Right. Mm-hmm. Two is perceived indifference and perceived indifference is just a fancy way of saying that they don't think that you actually care. Yep. And you know that you care yet. If that's the perception, then guess what the reality is. And so if that's why it's so important to what, like I said before, is that you show up and you want to show them that you care and then you you obviously rank up in their mind and in their on their top of mind awareness and then hopefully have those opportunities in the future. So. Yeah. You want them talking behind your back in yeah. a good way. <laughs> it's the only time you want somebody talking behind your back, right? <laughs> yeah. Is there um, is there anything else you could think of that you wanted to talk about about your company? Anything new that's coming out that we should know about? 
there's there's always things that we're coming out with some new gifting ideas and stuff like that that we have because you know not only can you send cards you can send gourmet fudge brownies you can send cookies amazon gift card home depot you can send a real two dollar bill we have oh interesting uh, real roses that have gold plated roses that are absolutely beautiful and like some couple gifts for kids, like a, a, a journal for kids that's all around gratitude, which is really wow, cool. That's awesome. So those are fun to send. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah, all through your website. And and how, how do we get a whole, how do we get on that website? Tell me, tell me about that quick. So amcards.com, um, you, anybody can sign up for free. Yeah. So you can go on the website, sign up for free. Um, there's, we don't have contracts or anything like that. We also have you can sign up for free and you can send your first card anywhere in the United States for free. I pay for it. I pay for the card, the stamp, everything. So you can just send a card. See how you like cool. send it to your own house. And yeah. if, if it's possible, your mom, you know that you're going to get a call back to say thank you. <laughs> um, so those, do that. And then you can even upload some contacts in there. You can even upload some pictures and play around with it. You know, it's kind of neat too. I, I put this together. I just haven't marketed it that much is that we actually have an AM cards app. And in the app, hmm. you can actually send cards via Siri. Oh, wow. Interesting. So you just say, hey, hey Siri, Siri and, then, and then to send it out. Yeah. And so what you do is you create templates like birthday, nice to meet you. Thank you for your business. You know, different situations that you might send a card on a regular basis. Yeah. And then it will give you the prompt and you can tell them who you're going to send the card to. And check this out. If they don't have it, you can actually you can it will send them a text message. They click mm. the link, fill out their name and address. And then when they hit submit, that card will be sent to them. Get out of here. That's really cool. That's very cool. Okay. See, that's next level stuff. You should definitely be pushing that out there, man. I mean, that's 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 important stuff. Well, I want to just say thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Uh, we got some good information. And uh, if there's anything else that you start doing, you want to come back on the show, let us know. Um, but uh, anything else you want to say before the end here? I appreciate you, and I appreciate you uh, using our product. It's amazing. So when it came across to be on your show, I thought it was it was an honor. So Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, very welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll be talking to you in the future, okay? There you had it. Curtis Lucy. I got it right this time. It's Am Cards. They do real estate stuff. They do uh, dealership for cars and things like that. But you want to check out his book, too. It's called Appreciation Marketing, How to Achieve Greatness Through Gratitude. And that's for around anything, actually. Uh, and that's about it. So come to see us every Thursday, 7 p.m. for the latest show. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We're everywhere. Thanks a lot. Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.